Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of It's Attention to Detail. In this episode, we're going to find out, where's the house? Yeah, I still can't get away from it. You wanted to see the house? Let's check it out. So there it is. So, um, I guess right now I'm sitting in the, well, I don't know. This might be my living room. This, this might be my roof. I don't know. But anyway, so... I've got all this wood over here. Now what I have done is I've created my headers for the windows, for the doors, all the stuff so that I can do the framing. I've already got the headers put together. And like I said, everything's up here in the truck so that it'll stay dry um, and it's not sitting out in the weather. But like I said, we got a whole bunch of two by fours up there. All of the, uh, I don't know if you can see them very well. Okay, you see that big stack of two by fours? Those are wall studs. You notice a little bit further up sitting there, those are my 12 foot two by fours. And this back down to my camera person who's trying to be, uh, <laughs> this is supposed to be, you know, YouTube grade. Um, so, anyway, yeah, so that's what's going on with the house. Right now, we're stockpiling all of our material until we get to a point to where I can put up walls, I can put a roof on it, and we can keep the weather off of it, we can keep the sun off of it, and I don't have to worry about the wood warping or anything like that, so. You don't like crooked wood? I don't like, no, no. Um, I don't want the house walls <laughs> to be crooked. So, that's basically what's going on with the house. Now, the reason why we're going as slow as we are, and actually there's several reasons, um, the cost of lumber has increased dramatically um, and I don't know how many of you have noticed have watched uh, the prices of lumber but uh, after the pandemic started um, I think a lot of the uh, the mills either closed down or they slowed down really you know pulled, pulled production back and uh, it has affected the supply of lumber which of course if you know anything about business supply and demand has caused the price to go up. Um, basically what we can get our hands on around here is um, pressure treated. I, I can't find unpressure treated wood hardly at all. Uh, again, there's been a lot of hurricanes. Um, I know that FEMA has been buying up a lot of lumber and stuff. I, I mean, pretty much as it's coming out of the mill. So it's not even making it to the local hardware stores. So we, we've been kind of fighting an uphill battle. And that's the reason why we're where we are right now. Um, we're trying to stay within a budget that we set and of course that's even, right I want to do this debt free. Yeah e even now I think we've gone above that budget but you know we don't want to be house poor when we get the house built um, but we also don't want to have a mortgage and that was our original goal for building this house doing it ourselves was we didn't have to pay somebody uh, you know a monthly bill for the house that we're that we're living in. Um, so anyway, just a real quick update, kind of let you know what's going on. I know we haven't talked about it for a while. The homestead is still uh, happening, all right? It's just things are slower than we wanted it to be. And uh, hopefully by the spring, um, we will have a stockpile to where we can start building a house, uh, to where we can uh, start working the land and everything else over there. and. Uh, yeah, so just stick with us, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all my loyal supporters, everybody that's watched us up to this point. And uh, hopefully we'll have more to show you soon. So for now, that's all I got. But thank you very much. Take care. And remember, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye.
please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video, and leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.